Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs, and I want to share a tip that I use in Cricut Design Space that will help you save that valuable paper and cardstock. Oftentimes when cutting within Design Space, I notice a lot of paper waste when viewing a project in the mat. Um, for those paper lovers out there that want to conserve paper, here's a tip on how you can use the attach option within Cricut Design Space to do just this. So what I mean by this is when you go, I loaded my Santa stacking box set files, and when I click go, give it a second. When you look at the preview for the red, if you'll see, it puts it on three 12 by 12 mats. Now looking at it, I know I can, I could arrange it. I can't move it from mat to mat. There's ways to arrange it on the mat, but you can't move it in Cricut Design Space from mat to mat. So here's a workaround that I use uh, often. I'm going to actually zoom out because for the next step a little bit for this. To fix this, uh, what I do is I add a square. What we're going to do is add a square that is 11.5 by 11.5, which is the cuttable area on the mat. Um, and we'll, we're going to fit the pieces within the mat to make it fit. So I think the best way is just to show you. So click on insert shapes on the left here and then square. You'll see it right here. I'm going to pull it down and to the right here I'm going to go to edit and change it from 2.4 which is the default to 11.5 by 11.5. For this, I know I'll need two mats, so we can take this, we can either create a brand new shape or we can just duplicate this. So I'm going to duplicate it by clicking on layers on the right and duplicate. And I'll move it to the right here. Once you have the mat, the squares here, um, if you need to change a color, I happen to have red is what I'm going to arrange on here so I can get it into two mats. If you have a different color, you might want to change the color of the squares. We'll also want to send these both to the back. So just click on one, click on arrange by the top, and just say move to back. And the same thing with the other one, arrange, move to back. So now we're going to arrange them on the mats, all the pieces. So all the red pieces are what we're worried about right now. So we'll move them on here, move them down. You have to zoom out a little bit to do this. You can. It just depends how big your file is. You see that fits right in there. So we want to get everything within the borders of the mats. Pull that down. Now you'll see the way this is. It might not fit. I'm going to put it in like this. Okay, what will be good. So this is, you just have to play around with it. I'm going to rotate this, and if you didn't know, I'm holding the shift key to make it rotate at 45 degree angles. And I'm going to pull this down here as long as I don't touch. I may have to go in a little bit. So there is a little manipulation, but if you do want to save paper, this is a this is the way to do it in here. Let me see, and let's see. Let's see if I have any other ones here. I just have the red hats. So I can pull them down. So once you have all the same color on the mat and it's all fitting in to the square, what I normally do is, oh, oops, this is a little off. Hold on. Make sure this is in. So what I do at this point is find the squares that I just put on there. Just hide them on the right hand side so we're going to hit hide hide and then for each one we're going to highlight each mat sets of images at once so i'm highlighting all these and i click on attach so that what i'll do it'll, it'll cut it exactly the way that i put it there the same thing for the other mat highlight everything hit attach now when we go click on go and wait and it was three before, I gave it a second to update. Now there's two mats. So even though that seems like a lot, it does help 
every once in a while when you're working on a, a project I don't like to waste paper and uh, there you go it's just saving paper for another project I hope you like this tip and next week I will show you another way you can make the best use of your paper usage um, with the map review hope you liked it thank you